Yo, hello everyone. If you want to elevate your email marketing efforts, you really have to use Klaviyo. And in this video, I will show you specifically how to connect or integrate Klaviyo with WordPress in 2023. So guys, let's get started. As before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you get the full information. So guys, the first two main things that we have to get before we start with this tutorial is having a WordPress website and of course having a Klaviyo account. So to get started with Klaviyo, all you need to do is simply head up to www.klaviyo.com and then log in to your own account. As you might see here, I will just log in and I will be right into the dashboard. Now, if I went to the integrations into my account, inside of my account, I will find that I only have Shopify, which eventually I've made a video about it. You can check it out later on if you are interested. For now, I'm going to remove this integration. As you can see, remove integration. And the next step, which is adding a new integration. So here I'm going to click on add a new integration, as you might notice. And here are a bunch of options from apps like Facebook, like MailChimp. So many options, guys, that you can go for. There is WooCommerce, Stripe, Square. Uh, if you search here for WordPress, you will not eventually find it. But there is some ways to actually get it. At the same time, here is my WordPress dashboard, which is the dashboard or the main board where we are going to manage our sites in WordPress. Here, let's check the plugins first by going to plugins and then clicking on add new, as you might notice over here, click on it. And then here, guys, you will notice that there is this page and here search for Clavio. So here we go. And eventually, as you can see, it will start loading. And here it is, Clavio. So all you have to do is simply install it now. Here we go. It will be installed. And just like that, the Clavio application will be activated right after you click on the activate button. So now I'm going to give it some time. Here, let's just check if it is actually activated by going to this active section on the plugins and then going all the way down for Clavio. Here it is. So now we have downloaded the plugin, but we didn't really um, like connect them together. So what I'm going to do is click on the settings. And here I am going to connect your account, Clavio account. Use the Clavio plus WooCommerce integration. So let's start by connecting the account. So here you have to approve with WooCommerce. Since I'm using the uh, local host account, uh, it might have some problems, but overall, here it is. Uh, it's my subscribers, please select, uh, select the list of subscribers. Uh, here I'm going to complete setup. Uh, we accounted an error while attempting to establish an integration between WooCommerce and Clavio to resolve. Please review the troubleshooting steps outlined in our help center. Now, the problem that, that I am facing now is that I am on a local host. But in general, guys, if you are really using like a real domain name instead of like a local host, as I'm uh, as I am doing now, you will be working good and fine. You will have zero problem with that. So this is the thing that you have to make in mind before you actually try to integrate. Make sure that your own website is online first. Since now I'm using a local host, it will not really help me to integrate both applications together. And guys, right after you connect both applications together and the integration works well for you. So it's going to be shown in this integration uh, section as Shopify did at the beginning. Everything in your website or the dashboard of Clavio will be changed into the WordPress logo. So here it is still with Shopify because the last time I connected it, it was with Shopify. But overall, it will change to the WordPress. So here, as you can see, guys, they will be all changed to WordPress logos. And you can start creating the campaigns, 
creating sign up forms, checking your audience, and even creating some content templates. Let's start, for example, with campaigns. So here, if I went to the campaigns and I click on the create campaign section, I will have here the campaign name, date, and type. So I'm going to start with, for example, WordPress campaign tutorial. And let me just fix that real quick. Here we go. And here we are. Now we have to choose a date. So to pick a date, it is totally dependent on you. Um, for example, I'm going to pick the 26th of September. And then here there's two options. Either you want it to be an email or to set up as an SMS. So message uh, like it will be sent to their phone number. So you can choose whether you want whatever whatever you want, depending on your data. If you have like phone numbers, that means that you can go for phone numbers. If you have like uh, emails, you can go for emails. So here I'm going for an email and then I'm going to choose some tags that I have created already. And then let's click on save. Now on this section, we have to choose campaign affirmations. As an example, there is name and there is the tags. So here I'm going to keep them as they are. And here's the most important thing, which is recipients and who are we going to send it to. So at this point, I'm going to click on uh, one of my lists that I have con uh, like data in, and then I will click on next. Here there's some other options. As an example, who do you want? Like, let's say that you have 50 members into this newsletter. You want to send it to only 45 and you want to keep five of them out of it. You can choose here to whom you don't really want to send to. So here I'm going to keep it as it is and then I'm going to click on continue to content. In this continue to content section, you can create your content and make the email that will be sent to the audience. Here you're going to give it a name, give it a preview text and send their name and choose the email that will be sent from. Again, in this popular like area, what you have to do is simply make your own um, design. It's, you can like take it from their templates as there is so many designs that you can go for. Or you can just make yours from scratch. Or you can put a text only or put a custom HTML code. And right after you feel like you're finished, let's put something random, for example, text only. I'm going to pick it like that. Save content, and then I will just keep it like that. Hi, this is how it's going to look like. And now I can just continue to review. So here we go. Here I give, give it a name and continue to review. And then in this last page, they will show us if everything is correct. If there's something missing, you have to fix it later on by your own self. And yeah guys, that was it. That's how you can connect and integrate Clavio into your WordPress website. I hope you liked this video and see you guys in the next tutorial.